Well, good morning. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. Today's the day I'm gonna go over and pick up John from the Veterans Village, take him over to Elite Fleet Automotive and get him his van back. Hi, right, John, there it is. <laughs> That's great. The work order, work order on this was four pages. Was it? Yeah, it was four pages. I, I don't know how many pages of parts that we ordered and then sent back. Trying to find yeah. all the right stuff. Yeah, so maybe you could tell me what happened with it, but this wheel hub was different than the other side. You don't know? I don't so, know. So uh, somebody changed one of the hubs uh, because it, it got damaged in one way or the other. Weird. And, uh, um, I actually can't find that hub, so <laughs> because somebody had done the pads. But yes, that was tweaked, and it was uh, yeah, and it was, it was rubbing, rubbing the, the groove really through bad, it. Yes, right, and the and the wheel bearings, the wheel bearings on yes. the other side. It was rubbing. It was the brake pad was had like eaten the rotor on this side, and the it had bad wheel bearings on the other side. Yeah. So yeah, we tried to order a hub rotor assembly to cure the mismatch lug. I think between four different sets of rotors. <laughs> couldn't get it <laughs> so yeah it's got new all new front brakes wheel bearing the rear drum brakes were also replaced put a windshield in it i think suspension wise you know the 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 upper and lower ball joints uh all the steering you know tie rod ends and and linkage parts i think we did put new shocks on it and some radius arm bushings i think i don't think we did anything to the rear axle i think that's the only I think that was fun we had the transmission completely out <laughs> You you'd know, have to, we, you'd have to go into, all, into it. All open up, yeah. Man, the list is so long. I can't yeah, four, to... four pages. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine print. Yeah. <laughs> the steering column, like when we were driving it into the shop, the steering column would lock. And yep. we're like, oh, that's not very safe. I'm driving down the road, going around a roundabout, the steering wheel locks. <laughs> there was a few times that uh, I turn a corner. Yeah. And I forgot about it, and I'm playing <laughs> it. Hit the, hit the button. Yeah. We tried putting a new ignition switch in the existing column, and the column was just too tore up, so we just we got a replacement column and put the new ignition switch into that. We actually didn't get any keys when he dropped it off, so we haven't been locking it. Which is uh, a good idea. <laughs> yeah. It actually got locked once, and I think on Casey's videos, he makes it look way easier to get in. We're not nearly that good. I think the main concern, you know, when it showed up was that it smoked horribly, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, obviously the cooling system. So, judging by what was in the cooling system, we were like, well, maybe just was straight water and it froze. So, fortunately, it didn't crack the block. I think engine-wise, the block itself is the only part that's still <laughs> Yeah, I think original. the block and the crankshaft and... Probably the, maybe the connecting rods. <laughs> the list still isn't done. Look at that. We we we, get, we got to put a battery terminal on it before it leaves. What kind of shoddy workmanship? I know exactly. I'm gonna take one more ride. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Nate doesn't want to let go out of it now. You even got the power windows working? I know my truck doesn't even do that. <laughs> So how's it feel to have your van back? Great. It's something that I don't have to worry about now. Because whenever I started it, you know, it was it was always blowing smoke and embarrassing. And, not that I embarrass easily, but I'm kind of an environmentalist. Well, I forgot bit. the exhaust too. We put exhaust on it. Yeah, you built yeah. the whole brand new exhaust. With I didn't no build smoke. it. I didn't build it. You built the whole brand new exhaust. I melted no it. Yeah, melted out. it together. Yeah. Help. Together. No more yeah. smoke. Sounds good. Yep. <laughs> huh? No oh. Hemi, huh? <laughs> it's better than a Hemi. The Hemi's blow up. You don't see no Hemi's with 350,000 miles on them. Really? Yeah. That's true. Mine's got 180,000 on it and it smokes as bad as yours did. Oh. <laughs> you never saw it, did you? Yeah, we shuffled it around. 
Yeah, they got it. They got it running here before they tore it apart. And yes, we saw all the smoke. So. Oh yeah, yeah. It would make the army proud. Yeah, lay down its own smoke screen. Well, John, it's all yours. Nate and Jordan are the guys who made it happen. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You want to know how you can tell a, a girlfriend of a mechanic? A girlfriend of a mechanic? Yeah. How? <laughs> 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 It's been so long since I've driven, I don't even remember how. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not quite that bad. <laughs> My grandpa is. <laughs> Take it easy, John. Alright, we made it back. How'd it drive? Drive great, great. Uh, it's got go-kart steering. Well, it's because the steering's actually like connected now and <laughs> has all that play in it. <laughs> and it's got power. Yeah, good. Yeah, that was. Well, it's all brand new, so it should be nice and responsive and yeah. run smooth. Um, so we are back here at the Veterans Village, uh, the tiny home community that's set up here, run by COVA, which is Central Oregon Veterans Outreach Association. And uh, they're doing an awesome deal here, giving veterans like John a place to live and get a whole new start. Uh, we, and by we, you more than me uh, took care of all his transportation needs now he's got his housing needs set up thanks to Kobo getting all your medical stuff taken care of now thanks yeah. to the VA it's a whole new start it is awesome to see so. yeah yeah it's it's um, it brings back uh, the perspective that there's still hope for people that's why you have hope on the front of your van that's right that's right um, because I spent 12 years in my truck or my pickup and, and the van and you know I'd be sitting at the uh, you know at a, a shopping mall with my hood up and people would just look at you like you're stupid and just drive on by you know because people are too self-centered and but now it's a whole different story. You know, well, I think we've shown there's a whole lot of people out there who are not self-centered. Yeah, I know. We raised a lot of money. Uh, we raised just over $19,000 between the GoFundMe and uh, some checks that got mailed in and donations that way. And the breakdown of this is uh, the shop bill from Elite Fleet Automotive was, and this was at a heavily discounted shop bill. Nate took everything off he could and donated a bunch of his own time on top of it. That was $12,543. And then John is getting so that he doesn't have to worry about any transportation needs, uh, $2,000 in gas cards so that you don't have to worry about fuel. Your van is good to go. You don't have to worry about fuel. You can get to all your appointments. You can do all your running around you need to do. And then we're going to donate $5,000. dollars actually already gave him the check to Covo for this uh, Veterans Village, Village project to mm -hmm. further what they're doing here. They're trying to expand on it. That 5,000 is gonna be a huge help Oh yeah, to expand yeah. on that. So that's kind of the breakdown of how the donations went. And that shows there's a whole lot of people out there who are not self-centered yeah. and, <laughs> and just wanna help. Yeah. And so that is a huge thank you to you guys because you guys are the ones who made this happen. I just kind of put it all together and put it out there. You guys are the ones who made it happen without what you guys did. This wouldn't have, wouldn't have been a thing. So thank you to you guys. And I highly appreciate it. It's, um, you don't realize what, what this means to me. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, um, I got to see things that I, I hadn't seen in, in years because without transportation, you're dependent upon, um, all kinds of different things you know who do I talk to about getting getting transportation to my appointments who do I I see about this and about that and it all comes together and it was surprised me um, yeah it really did surprise me the good people are out there yep yeah they're out there and they're all right there right there right there <laughs> right there <laughs>
So a big thank you to you guys. Uh, we're gonna close this one out here. Yep. Let you go take a break. I'm gonna head back to work and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, yeah. God be with. <laughs>